Hi, I'm Ben from Universal Audio, and today I'm going to show you a couple of tricks for using the UAD Helios Type 69 preamp and EQ plugin. So what's great about this Helios plugin is how faithful it is to the original analog hardware. It's got beautiful, broad, passive EQ, multiple input transformers and gain stages, and it just sounds like classic rock. So to show you the power and musicality of this plugin, I'm gonna take a set of drum mics and just mix them using only the Helios plugin. And trust me, it's gonna sound rockin'. Let's check it out. Now I'm gonna start off where I typically start off mixing drums, which is with my kick drum. So this is the kick by itself, Helios plugin inserted on the factory default setting. So it's a pretty good sounding kick drum. It's got a great attack to it, which is nice because I'm not gonna be using any compression on these drums, but eh, it's missing in the low end department. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the bass control to 60 hertz and just creep the gain knob up until it feels good. There we go. Now we have a good sounding kick drum that also has a bunch of great low frequency content in it. Next, let's check out what the snare drum sounds like. Just like the kick, the snare drum sounds pretty good already. Let's hear what that top end sounds like on the snare drum. I'm gonna try adding a little bit of extra 10K. So that 4 dB 10K boost was awesome. It added this nice crispness to the snare drum. And then once I did that, I was like, ooh, maybe you could have a little bit more snap as well. So using the MIDI EQ at about 3.5 kilohertz, just add a little bit of boost there as well. So next up, let's hear what these overheads sound like. So you can hear those overheads are placed pretty close to the drum set. There's a lot of hi-hat, it's, it's really bright. So I'm gonna do the exact opposite of what I just did in the snare drum. I'll pull down 10K by 4 dB and see what that sounds like. So 4 dB at 10K wasn't quite enough for what I'm looking for. I really want these overheads to have a nice warmth and size and weight to them. So brought that down 8 dB, and then on the mid-range, around 2K, added a little bit of gain. So what that's doing is it's just kind of shifting the shape of the top end to being a little less bright and sparkly, a little mellower, but with a little bit of bite. So that combined with my slightly bright snare microphone and a really thick, awesome kick should be sounding pretty rocking. Now we got a few more mics to go through. Uh, most importantly, the floor tom. So immediately I grabbed the bass knob, gave it a big old boost at 120, took the mid knob, turned it to trough, took out a little bit of that 1K, just to really focus the sound of this tom around the low end. Uh, let's see what the rack tom sounds like. Similar to the floor tom, just add an extra low end, and on this one, also add a little bit of more mids at like, you know, 1.4K. Let's check out the snare bottom mic. It 
So again, snare bottom's already sounding pretty decent. Just cut away all of the low end, added a little bit of extra peak at like three and a half K. So the last track I'm going to pull up here is the kick snare crush. Now on the way in, this got a lot of compression and processing. So it already sounds very effective and aggressive. Let's hear what that sounds like. Now what this track is going to be perfect for is giving me some glue to my drum mix. Since it's got a little bit of everything, it's highly saturated, highly compressed, it just, it's going to add attitude to the whole drum mix. So as you saw, right when I pulled it up, I instantly took that even further. I switched it from line into mic and gave it another couple, like 20 dB of gain, brought that output fader down to compensate, rolled off the top end a little bit, and as you'll notice, I even kicked in a little bit of the bass EQ. Let's hear what this sounds like with the Helios bypass in every track. And now with the Helios. That adds a ton of meat to these drums. So needless to say, I could sit here all day and keep on playing with this plugin and adding more low end and more saturation, but you get the idea. The Helios plugin has got amazing tone, amazing color, lots of grit, and it just sounds like classic rock. So if you want to learn more about this plugin, you can go to uaudio.com, and if you already own a UA interface or UAD2 hardware, you can demo this thing for free for 14 days right now and get your rock on. <laughs> See you next time.